Hello children. In previous video, I have explained chains of reporting verb and chains of pronoun. Now I am going to change you chains of tenses. Student, in previous video, I have told you that if reporting verb is in the present tense or future tense, then we don't change reported tense of reported speech. Now we will. now we will discuss the change of tenses then which tense we will change if the reporting verb is in the past tense if if it is in the past tense the tense of reported speech changes as as i have written here if it is in the past tense if it is given in the present or future then we will don't change if it is given in past tense then we will change let's see if direct speech is simple present tense then we change it into indirect speech then simple past tense means simple present tense will change into simple past tense present continuous tense change into past continuous tense present perfect tense will change into past perfect tense present perfect continuous tense will change into past perfect continuous tense these are the four tenses of present tense it will change into past tense okay simple present simple past present continuous past continuous present perfect past perfect present perfect continuous past perfect continuous now let's see the tenses of past tense simple past tense will change into past perfect tense okay simple past tense change into past perfect tense past continuous tense will change into past perfect tense past perfect tense will not change okay we can say past perfect tense will change into past perfect tense or we can say it will not change we don't change the tense of past perfect tense in past perfect continuous tense will also not change there's no changes will made tense uh, there's no change will made into uh, present perfect tense and past perfect continuous tense and one thing you can see students all the tenses will change into the past tense okay it means we change the tenses into the past tense only listen one time again simple present will change into simple past present continuous will change into past continuous present perfect will change into past perfect present perfect continuous tense will change into past perfect continuous tense simple past tense will change past perfect tense past continuous will change past perfect continuous and this two will not change okay past perfect tense and past perfect continuous this two tense will not change let's see the future as i've told you students as i've told you that uh, all the tenses will change into past okay then we change future tense in past how we will change will and shall will change into the past form like would and should will change into would and shall change into should this changes will make in future tense let's see some example i have written here he said i write a letter this is the present tense uh present uh, yeah simple present tense when we change it then we change into pa a simple past tense he said that i will change according to subject then it will change into he that he wrote right is in the present tense and when we change the tenses then it will become uh, second form of the verb then we will write second form of the verb why because in simple past tense we write the second form of the verb then he wrote a letter he said i have written a letter this is the present perfect tense and present perfect tense will change into past perfect tense by seeing the helping verb this given have it means it's a present perfect tense he said that he i will change according to subject then it will change he it will change into he he said that he 
have will change into had why because when we change the tense then we then we change the helping verb also then the present perfect tense helping verb is has and have and past perfect con uh, past perfect tense helping verb is had present perfect helping verb has and have past perfect helping verb is had then he had written a letter he said the flood had destroyed their fields he said the flood had destroyed their field he said that the flood it's a past perfect tense as i've told you we don't change the tense of past perfect tense here i've told you students we don't change the tense of past perfect tense and here the direct speech in in past perfect tense so we don't change the tense that's why i've written here had same helping verb had destroyed their fields rest of the changes have made here as you can say uh we have removed the inverted commas and comma and uh, add conjunction that only we don't change the tense he said i will write a letter it's a future tense or we can as i've told you all the tenses will change into the past then uh, when i've told you future tense then will will change into second form is past form would and shall should then we will change will into would or we can say it's a modal auxiliaries also then all the modal auxiliaries students will change into the second form like uh, will will change into would shall should can could may might okay these changes will made will make in models when we change the modal auxiliaries to direct on uh, direct to indirect speech he said that he would then will we change into would would write a letter when a speaker talks about a universal truth or habitual action the tense of the sentence does not change okay student next rule here i have explained the ex uh, examples next rule when the speaker talks about universal truth okay universal truth or habitual actions then the tense of the sentence does not change okay the tense of the sentence will also not change in which in direct speech we find universal truth or habitual action then the tense of this type of sentences we will not change when we change it into direct into uh, direct to indirect speech let's see example the teacher said the sun rises in the east it's a universal fact the sun rises in the east okay the tense of this sen on uh, this uh, sentence will not change when we change it into indirect speech the teacher said that the sun rises in the east that as you can say it is written in simple present tense and when i change it then i have also written simple present tense i have not changed the tenses because it representing universal facts and universal truth next he said i go to temple every tuesday here it's represent i go to the temple every tuesday it's here representing the habit anyone's habit that i will i go the i go to the temple every tuesday here it's representing habit it means it's represent habitual action here then this type of sentences in this type of sentences we don't change the tense when we change it into indirect speech he said that he goes to the temple every tuesday we have made all the changes like uh, we have removed comma we have add conjunction we will add conjunction that remove inverted comma i will change according to subject means first person pronoun change according to the subject but only tense will not change it is given in the simple present tense and i have written here in simple present tense okay students it's a simple present tense but you will say they are written goes and they are written go as you know when i have explained tense chapter then i have told you in simple present tense in verb we add e or es with singular subject and with but with i i is also singular subject but with i it's exceptional case with i we do not add e or es or es into the verb 
but it is it's given in the first form verb is given here first form it means it's a simple present tense and here he is a singular subject and with he we add s or es into the verb so it is in the simple present tense and i have not changed the tense here it is also in the simple present tense so students when we talking about or uh, when we talks about like universal truth or fact or habitual action then the tense of the sentence does not change okay change of adverbs of time and place students i have told you we change the adverbs of time and place also if we find these words into the direct speech then when we change it into indirect speech then we write all these words like see like today will change into that day tonight will change into that night and last night tomorrow will change into the next day the following day yesterday will change into the the day before this week that week last week month and year means last week last month and last year then the month before the previous month or the the week before the year before the previous year the previous week next week next month next year will change the following week the following month the following year now will change into then at or at that time ago will change before here will change there and there's a two exceptional this will change into that and these will change into those okay this will also change this will change into that and these will change into those okay student then in this way we change the adverbs of time and place let's see some example pavan said i met him today okay he has given today then how we will change today today will change into that day the pavan said that he had met him that day today has changed into that day okay raj said i live here here will change as what i have told you here will change into there as you can see here here will change into there raj said that he lived there here has changed here there raj said that he lived there okay then this changes of adverbs of time and place we will do will uh, change uh, in when we change direct into indirect speech okay i hope the students till here you all have understood thank you